Well, it's done for the most part. Waiting on some stickers to come in. They're coming in with my uh, stickers for the one-to-one -one modified. And yeah, I think it turned out pretty good looking. Definitely build the body, then paint it. <laughs> I found that out the hard way. Still got to drill another hole for that front bumper on both sides. It's kind of hard finding the second hole. Uh, but yeah, I think it came out looking pretty good. Got to clean up the wiring in it. I mounted everything. I ain't even really driven it yet. We're fixing to see. Built the shocks yesterday. Uh, definitely got a tie down right front. Super easy to get down. But you see how slow it is on the rebound. Compression. Yeah. Same thing on the left front too. Not as much as on this right front here. The left rear, I got kind of a pogo and easy up shot that I built for it. Um, definitely pretty hard to compress, but it'll, it likes to stay up. And once it's up, it's like, kind of feels like it's wanting to stay on there. Yeah, you see how it's like really slow to compress. Yeah, we'll see how that works. Now the right rear is just an equal shock, normal like 50-50, 50-50 compression rebound. Built them kind of the way this, I built them this way because no shock on a race car is 50-50 really. Um, at least nothing that I brand. So every shock either has more rebound than compression or more compression than rebound depending on what corner it is on. And I definitely think that's where we're heading in the RC world, especially building these shocks the way they are. Now, I'm forgetting about ride heights. I need to get some scales for this thing. We're gonna scale it. We're gonna get center to centers of our shocks, and then we're gonna do rounds of preload and taking rounds out to uh, kind of get these things set up. But I think it looks pretty good. Let me turn it on. I even really set. I haven't set. Uh, I haven't set the steering trim yet. Uh, let's see can find the button wherever I put it there we go yeah just tuck all them wires are hanging in there all righty it's on got the reedy combo in there let me drive in one hand here Look at that right front. Let me see if I can. It rubs a little bit. I gotta do some trimming now. But you see how the right front's dug and then now it's finally up, up at right height. See how it's leaned over on there? And then now it's finally fully compressed up. I wonder, you know what's actually hidden? The front door bar there. Yep. Now this is the Reedy, um, like ready to run. Combo. So I hung this body, it's definitely more so to the other side. It was also designed that way. But it's also kind of like, looks like it's crab walking. I don't know if you can really pick it up on the thing. But we've got the Custom Works arms on there. That's why the left rear's tucked in. I built the Custom Works adjustable arms we put them on there um but yeah look how high that left rear gets
Oh, yeah, there it is. Sorry, this video is kind of boring. But I'm going to do some trimming on it. Yeah.